Elle est là, regarde. Snow here, there's, there's, there's snow everywhere. Obviously, as always, I'm coming with the GoPro and I walk. And my dad up there ahead of me. Um, yeah, there's snow everywhere. Um, we're actually hiking along a bike trail, so we're keeping an eye on Epic's plan for bikers. But, uh, yeah, there's snow everywhere. Yeah, there's snow everywhere. Yeah, there's snow everywhere. Yeah, there's snow everywhere. I think it's supposed to lead us out to some water, to the reservoir, to the water. Then we'll see some wildlife out there. Any other cool things to photograph? So we'll see. Anyway, that's why I am what I'm doing. Uh, kind of cool being able to have my Facebook page and stuff now too and go live. Uh, I'm going to be able to do my wildlife talk and videography for a living, so I'm trying to get all this to take off and I put my heart and my trust in God. That He'll help me and guide me to the period of time where this takes off. And then I can do it for a career. So it'd be awesome. Uh, It's kind of fun hiking out here with the snow on the ground, I think. Alright. I will talk to you guys later. Uh, it's going to be fun. Who knows, I might come back on here live again later too, we'll see.
here. There we go. That's better. Much better. But I'm going to try to keep on filming this GoPro video here. Interesting. I do not know what this uh, structure is, but there it is. Interesting. An old structure. You guys should call Luke and Marie Lagina. Have them come investigate it for me. Tower, adventures. Looks like somebody turned it old structure kind of place into a uh, little amphitheater. Yes, please. My walk is recorded, not don't walk. Oh, right. It's on my lips. Maybe. I don't know the interesting structure was. Maybe I'm going to the video after that. I'm going to follow this all the way up here ahead of me somewhere. I'm going to stop taking the interesting structure with the video camera. I should have shot the photograph too. Oh no, maybe I'll get some actual stills of it with the uh, GoPro. So, we shall see. For those of who don't know who Rick and Marty Latina is, it was an island in the North Pacific. It's called Oak Island. Off the coast of Nova Scotia in my home bay. And on that island, people have been searching for a lost treasure for over 227 years. And Rick and Marty Regina may be closer than anyone to ever been to solving the curse of Oak Island and the treasure mystery. Their show, The Curse of Oak Island, is on on Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. Don't forget to watch it. Sometimes I see interesting things when I'm out on my walks that make me feel like I should call Rick and Martin Medina and Gary Drayton, the metal detective expert and maybe some archaeologists on their team too to come take a look. Oh, 
I live for the outdoors and all that fun stuff. And look, there's a the street right over there. And in my eyes. Sometimes I've been on hikes and I've seen strange rock formations that look like they were put there by a man. Like they were like a, a wall built out of rocks. In the middle of nowhere. Which doesn't look normal. Things like that. That's when I feel like calling Rick and Mike again down there. Archaeologists. <laughs> So anyway, what I feel it all. That's just me. Call me crazy, crazy, that's me. You go around that right there. I do believe we're going down the hill now. This looks very dangerous right here. You guys can see this tree branch. Well, it's, I just think massive tree branch. It's just skinny a tree this way, the whole thing comes down. There's just trees down all through here, man. Not because of that, some of these past winter storms we've had. See the reservoir right over there. Reservoir is through those trees. You can see the water from here. Fallen trees. We were watching that floor on that hill. <sighs> Looks like we have some erosion going on right here. See all this here? 
This is part of the reason why I love getting out this creek. You see all kinds of things. The creation of dog never ceases to amaze. Does it? He's in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Don't forget that. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Huh, blimey. I can really use some food right now. Nice hot meal. My mom's making a chicken soup for dinner. That'll be lovely. Tyler, adventures. Looks like somebody turned an old structure kind of place into a uh, little amphitheater. I want to record and not go and walk. Oh, right. It's all right, my lips. Maybe. I don't know what the industry is so much. Maybe I'm going to the video after that. I'm following this all up here ahead of me somewhere. I was supposed to get an interesting structure with the video camera. You mentioned the softest photograph too. Oh no, maybe I'll get some actual stills of it with the uh, GoPro. So, we shall see. I don't know who, don't know who Rick and Marty Lapina is. There is an island in the North Pacific. It's called Oak Island. Off the coast of Nova Scotia, in my home bay. And on that island, people have been searching for a lost treasure for over 227 years. And Rick and Marty Lapina may be closer than anyone's ever been to solving the curse of Oak Island and the treasure mystery. Their show, The Curse of Break Island, is on on Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. Don't forget to watch it. Sometimes I see interesting things when I'm out on my walks that make me feel like I should call Rick and Martin Medina and Gary Drayton, the metal detective expert, and maybe some archaeologists on their team too to come take a look. No, I live in the outdoors and all that fun stuff. And look, there's a street right over there. And in my eye. Yeah. Sometimes I've been on hikes and I've seen strange rock formations that look like they were put there by a man. Like they were like a, a wall built out of rocks. In the middle of nowhere. Which doesn't look normal things like that that's when i feel like calling rick and mike Laguna and they're archaeologists <laughs> so anyway what are you look at that's just me call me crazy crazy that's me you go around that right there I do believe they're going down the hill now.
Why does Pete do that? This looks very dangerous right here. You guys can see this tree branch. Well, it's, I just say, massive tree branch. But the skinny of tree gives way, the whole thing comes down. There's just trees down all through here, man. Not because of that, some of this past winter storms we've had. See the reservoir right over there. Reservoir is through those trees. You can see the water from here. on the trees. That's what we were watching out for on that hill. Man. Looks like we have some erosion going on right here. See all this here? This is part of the reason why I love getting out this creation. You see all kinds of things. The creation of dawn never ceases to amaze. Does it? He's in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Don't forget that. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. <sighs> Blimey. I can maybe use some food right now. Nice hot meal. My mom's making a chicken soup for dinner. Lovely, lovely. Look at that.
Hey now, time to thank you. Thank you. If you'd let me. And there's the water. I think we're way down to the end of the reservoir where we from where we were the last time I came here. Maybe I don't know. The bad thing about this is we're going to want to shoot that way and the sun's right there so we'll be shooting into the sun, which is not good.